All right, all right, all right. What is up? We are in Agia Galini. I'm going to be taking a walk in Agia Galini to show you what's going on and to give you a perspective. If possible, I will also fly the drone to give you an overview of Agia Galini in 2024, 27th of February. As you can hear, there is work going on to prepare this place for you for 2024. When it was not cloudy, it was already giving me a feeling of spring. It was, everything was glowing and it, everything was uh, like, as you can see, you already, the green grass, the flowers, everything is just uh, uh, growing and everything is just, yeah, because it is warm. Look at me, I'm wearing like a, a t-shirt, although it is cloudy, but the temperature is around 18, or 20 degrees Celsius, so that's a good thing. And here we have the river. Last night, all night it was raining and it was nice. I really enjoyed the raindrops over the car when I was sleeping. And now this river is full of the water. And it's all leading to the sea. Uh, I was quite uh, excited when I began the video because I was like wow this is a very nice sunny day and I was like I'm gonna be able to capture some really beautiful like blue colors of the sea and the sky but now when it got a little bit cloudy and I was like mm, it kind of it was demotivating but I still think the point of a video is not all the time like beautiful imagery sometimes it's about just hang out and sometimes it's about a little bit of information it's a, sometime a, a little bit of chatter or or anything but it still looks magnificent look at this beautiful river here which is merging to the sea the, re the reflection of the blue part of the sky is just so beautiful yeah Overall, everything seems like it is ready to go, uh, but still I will come in one of the uh, weeks in front to see leading to summer, maybe uh, February, March, April. Maybe at the end of March or the beginning of uh, April, I will just uh, pass by Agia Galini and I will see what's going on. One thing I'm noticing here is uh, like this main beach of Agia Galini has lots of uh, seagrass, lots of lots of seagrass. I don't know how it all ended up here uh, on the beach. The th that part of the beach is a little bit clean, but this part is like filled with seagrass, yeah. So hopefully they are gonna 
be able to clean this in order to expose the sun and expose the beach. So one another thing to mention, uh, Agia Galini beach, this beach is an awarded beach. Uh, it has also a very safe uh, entrance to the beach for the handicapped people as well. You see this is the area and uh, dedicated toilet as well. So just so you know. And the only question remains is when they are gonna uh, prepare this and put it together and ready to go. But I will come here, absolutely, yeah, at the end of the March, start of April, I definitely will come to, to, to make an update on this place. As this place is quite famous and has lots of visitors and it will be nice to be able to see what's going on. Out of the cafes and restaurants, taverns, in this seafront side of Agia Galini, Acre... Oh boy, how are you, huh? Look what a sweet dog here. <laughs> so, uh, Taverna Acre Yali seems like the, the most ready to go. It's like they have everything nice and clean and ready to go. And here we have another Amos Pizza restaurant right in this area and it seems also like it's ready to go and it it will be one of those places that will be even earlier ready to provide services Now we are getting close to the port of Agia Galini. I see there is some work in progress in the Madame Hartness restaurant. I think in the last uh, years it was not making enough profit, so 
I think they are turning it into a hotel, which is also not a bad thing. Uh, maybe they are, they are going to keep a portion of it as a restaurant and bar and uh, cafe, but as far as I can see, uh, they are separating it, uh, part partitioning it to, to rooms. Uh, and it has beautiful balconies and it has a beautiful view. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, when you don't have customers and if you are not making enough money, what to do? At the moment, there is the Karma Cafe and Bar open. This one supermarket is open and Alibi Cafe and Cocktail Snack Bar is open. So overall there is everywhere constant continuous work going on to prepare this place and finally I had some sun shining and immediately I began to sweat and then I was like no no that cloud was a better idea. <laughs> yeah the sun here can really get uh, strong if you are like in the winter and then like uh, not sunny, not sunny, not sunny and then there is like this absolute sun it makes you uh, like want to jump into the sea or your skin uh, begins starts, begins to like kind of uh, tingle or something like that yeah 
But now we are at the main street, uh, street of uh, Agia Galini. I can see that our service is open. There is a bakery open and then there is a butcher shop that's open. So overall, if you come to Agia Galini, even at this time of the year, you're going to find something. There are uh, like it's not completely like closed place. It is open. You will find people to communicate and socialize and also the beach is uh, just a few steps from this place that you can go and swim if you want to do something like that. And speaking of uh, uh, ac access, right now we are close to the bus station of uh, bus stop of Agia Galini and also the taxi stop in case you need it. It is just right a few steps away from the port in front of us. Here on this board we have some information about uh, different, different things in Agia Galini. If you find it useful then you can read it when you are here. And also there is a QR code or uh, yeah of course like that. Yeah. And right here we have the uh, taxi stop, rent a scooter, a rental shop and uh, at the same time a taxi stop and bus stop is in this area as it's written over there, over there, bus stop. And if we walk like uphill a little bit from here, there are more like supermarkets and coffee shop services open at the moment. Calimera. And right in front of us we have another supermarket and on, on the left side over there is there is the uh, fruit and vegetable bio market. So this was it for uh, Agia Galini. I'm gonna go back, fly the drone to give you a better perspective of Agia Galini, the beach, the town and whatever I can see I will uh, capture and, 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 and show it to you. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts, recommendations in the comment section. And if you are already having a good time, consider subscribing. And if you want to support the channel and support me, my PayPal account link, Patreon account link in the description. Other than that, until the next time, peace.